be doing this um, little like Kim Kardashian sort of inspired look um, or smoky eye. Um, yeah, so here's a little closer look. Hopefully my lighting, you can see it. My lighting's kind of off. I'm sorry. I'm not in my room. I'm in my um, my stepmom's room. So sorry. Um, anyway, so I hope you guys like it. Um, I've already primed my eye. Um, first color I'm gonna use is Brownie Points by Maybelline. Hopefully, you see that pretty good. I'm gonna take my contour shadow and put this up to my crease. Maybe just a little bit above. Okay, so the next I'm going to take um, Night Sky, Night Sky by Maybelline, um, it's like a very nice sparkly black, and I'm going to take just um, a crease brush or fluffy brush, whatever you want to use, just dip it in there, and when always using dark shadows, make sure you tap off the excess, I mean tap a lot, make sure everything is off there. Otherwise, it's going to fall over your face and you don't want that. Okay, so, and you're going to put the darker color in the outer corner. That, um, I'm going to go back over with um, brownie points. And I'm going to fill in to make this a little lighter. And actually, sorry. Um, Go back over with dark brown too. And just kind of make sure this fades into there right. Add that. Then I'm gonna go back with um, Night Sky by Maybelline, the sparkly black one. And do my under eye, and I'm only gonna go just about halfway. Because with every smoky eye, you don't really want to go all the way, otherwise, it does look, um, we call it like just too, what is it? I want to say cakey, but yet again, cakey is usually used when you put way too much face makeup on. Let's see if I can make this a little darker on the sides. After that, um, <laughs> I'm going to take, uh, what is it, brownie points again? And I like just had my liner brush too. Come on. Anyway, so I'm going to take brownie points again. And it's like a nice goldish brown color. I'm going to add that to uh, the inner corner of my bottom lash. And you want to have it fade back into the black. Okay, so that works perfect. Then for the um, highlights, which I always lose for some reason. Okay, so now for the highlight. Hold on, let me uh, come back into here. Okay, so for the highlight, Max Vanilla. And I'm just going to take my highlighting brush, whichever one you use, and put it in there. And try and make it fade out a little so it doesn't look too high up. Same with this one, make that fade out. Perfect. And then, um, what is it next? Eyeliner. Since I finally found mine. Your big sister is going to get Bobby and Grandma back. For mascara, I'm going to use Lash Blast like I always use. 
and hopefully um, I don't get too much. Yeah, see, well, hopefully I don't get too too much stuff. It's one thing I don't like. Let's see. Oh wait, wait, wait. Hold that thought. Crawl it first, duh. Uh, I'm just gonna like pinch my eyeball. Ow. Okay. And yeah, and the lady from when I went to buy, buy some stuff at Max, she told me it's better to Right, curl it first. Curl one, curl one, um, or eyelash, or curl one eye's eyelash first, and then go with the mascara. Otherwise, you're gonna lose the curl. So, pretty cool, huh? And for um, for cheeks, um, I'm gonna just ugh. dang it. Um, I'm actually just gonna use um, a darker foundation. Because mainly me and blush just like do not mix. Like, I'm already like naturally red as it is. I look white right now, but yeah, so we just like really do not mix. So I'm just gonna use a darker um, foundation. And usually what I do is I go from here. And just a little swoop right there. So there you go. Okay, so um, for lips, I'm gonna use a uh, cherry pomegranate from Lip Smackers. It's just a base. And then after that, I'm going to use. Lip Luscious, um, or Dual City Leche by Lip Luscious. So, I'm going to use a whole little lip gloss thing from All May, too. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And then just a little gloss. Okay, so, um, <laughs> that there is your look. Hopefully, you guys like it, and thanks for watching.